Hello, this is Nico, or I Design Cars from Local Motors. I'm here to give you a quick tutorial about the ignition kit included for the Rally Fighter Custom Car Skins competition for Jay Rogers Rally Fighter. This will be the second Rally Fighter built, and we're very excited to have it on the road, and we're also very excited to see what you're going to come up with for this competition. All right, the first step to doing this is to download your Custom Car Skins ignition kit uh, from the website, which you can do so right here. Once you've downloaded it, open it up, and you'll notice four folders within it. First folder is the LM logo folder that contains the oval uh, local motors uh, logos in them that look like this. All right. The second folder is the uh, side profile view folder. This you can work on. It's a JPEG, but you can work on it within Photoshop, uh, and it has paths in it. So we're going to get to that in a little bit. Uh, those paths will be very helpful. Uh, in helping you with your design. The third folder is the uh, Rally Fighter logo, so the famous Wings logo uh, that you know. Um, so the, we included a white one and a black one as well as the Rally Fighter text. Those are in Illustrator and we'll get to that in a second. And the last one and most important one is a template folder. This has the uh, template laid out by Orel within it in, in Illustrator format and this is what you're going to work on. This is the Rally Fighter, how it appears when it's flattened out and what you will need to design on uh, in order to uh, have your design printed and printable. If you design just on the side profile view like this, we won't be able to print it. We need to uh, have the actual template designed on in order to print it. All right, so first we're going to start with the Rally Fighter logo, the Wings logo, because that's kind of the easiest one to start with and then we'll go to the side view and then finally to the templates. Alright so here we are in Adobe Illustrator with the Rally Fighter Wings logos and you'll notice that there is the white RF logo and the black RF logo and what is important to understand about this is that the logos are not simply inverted mirrors of one another. Instead uh, the transparent parts of each logo are a little bit different. So keep that in mind when you're doing your design. So with regards to the vectorized wings logos, that's about all you need to know. Now we're going to move on to the profile preview view of the Rally Fighter. Now let's talk about the profile view that is included in the preview folder of the ignition kit. This is a Photoshop JPEG file and what's cool about JPEG files is that they can contain a lot of data within them especially if they're made in Photoshop. So if you use guides or paths for example these will be retained within the JPEG file so anytime you open them up in Photoshop you'll see the guides and you'll be able to have access to the paths. With this file, Orel has gone through and created the paths for the parts of the Rally Fighter that will be covered in vinyl. Please note that the carbon fiber parts, that means the uh, belly scoop and the rear fenders along with the nose cone, will not be wrapped with vinyl and neither will any of the wheels or glass. So the only parts that will be wrapped in vinyl are laid out with the paths in this file. To see and use the paths, first you have to open up the paths window. To do this, go to Window, Paths, and you'll see one layer in there. Paths you can work in, in layers. Select that layer, and you'll see the paths appear around the body of the Rally Fighter. If you want to transform these paths into a selection, hit Command Enter on a Mac or control enter on a PC and you'll get the little crawling ant as we call them the selection you can work within the selection make a new layer fill it with a color there you go and then choose the blend mode for your layer in this case overlay or soft light. Another method you can use is to go back to your selection, create a new group, 
and then a layer mask with this group using the selection. Now you can take any color, you can drop it within, and no matter what you do within this group, it'll always only work within the selection that you have that you have already made. And that's pretty much it. It's really easy to work with the paths and the selection because you don't have to use an eraser to erase things that go over the trunk, for example, or over the hood of the rally fighter. You just work within the selection and only what's in the selection is visible. All right, and now finally to the Illustrator template file. There are some things that we should probably tell you before you get working with this file that you should know. The first is that this file has been prepared with extreme precision and all of the elements are placed precisely. So do not, whatever you do, move any of the elements thinking that you can just move them back later. The file is prepared in a way that will make printing each panel easier for the printer and it'll make it easier for local motors to make sure that the design will work before it goes to the print. Each panel has a little bit of overlap because when a car is wrapped with vinyl, the vinyl actually has to wrap around the, uh, the edge of the panel. And because of that, each panel needs to be a little bit bigger than the actual physical panel, and that creates some overlap. You don't have to worry about this really. The template will take care of all of it on its own. So let's take a quick look at how this works. We're going to build the template uh, by selecting each layer. So now you're looking at the right side. And you can see each of the panels. That line that was just clicked is where the vinyl will wrap around the bottom. So don't use that as a, that's just a guideline. Don't use that as a cut line or anything like that. So here you have the template, and let's say you wanted to put your design. We're going to use a TI Stallion, for example. When the design is totally flat, this is what it looks like. It's one uniform design underneath the template, and you're going to have to do this for both sides. We have laid out the template in a way so that you're only working right side up. You'll never have to really work with your design upside down. That way you don't make mistakes with proportions or dimensions or anything kind of funky like that uh, and you don't have to work in Illustrator flipping your design back and forth you can just work with each side individually but what we do need is the uniform single design underneath the template at a one-to-one -one scale so don't change the scale of this document uh, leave it to scale and remember don't move the panels around if you are more experienced in Illustrator and would like to make each individual panel using the template that you see, you can use the mask clipping feature uh, to separate the main design or make it look like you're separating the main design into individual parts. Select the layer that you want to work with, the layers that you want to work with, and the, choose the clipping mask feature. And this will basically mask the each layer to show only the uh, selection that you want to show. So it looks like you have individual panels. But Local Motors, the Local Motors design team can take care of that. What, again, I will emphasize what we really need is the flat design, uniform design underneath the template. And that concludes this tutorial for how to work with the ignition kit for the Custom Car Skins competition for J. Rogers Rally Fighter. I hope it was informative. If you have any questions, feel free to let either Aurel or Nico know. Uh, you can find our emails on the website as well as send us a message on the wall and we can email you back. Good luck and I hope you have a lot of fun doing this. Mm -hmm.